Yo guys, just before the video starts, I'd like to say I'm um, going live in 25 minutes. So if you guys would like to watch, uh, I'll be on YouTube. Uh, I like streaming Borderlands 3 and Fortnite. Borderlands 3, I like farming and come up with new builds. And um, with Fortnite, I like streaming and playing with my uh, subs. So yeah, if you guys are interested in any of those, be sure to come check out the streams. Uh, by the way, as well, guys, um, there will be a new build coming out uh, in a day or two. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, make sure to like, sub, and turn on notifications. So yeah, I'd be very appreciated. I hope you guys enjoy the vid. And yeah, peace. Yo, what's going on, guys? Dineo Diablo here. And today, tonight, whatever you guys are watching this video at, today, I'm going to be showing off my Melee Amara build. And for this build, you're going to need mainly, obviously, you're going to need a uh, deep dive face puncher with a, either a times seven or times fourteen. I like using a times seven because it doesn't waste as much ammo, but you can use whatever you want. But yeah, uh, a times seven or times fourteen face puncher. I like using a uh, fifty percent elemental uh, shield and grenade. So if, with the transformer, I'm using a. Uh, 50% uh, bonus shock damage with a transformer That's pretty nice, but you can use whatever element whatever shield you want uh, But I just like using the transformer with shock damage Next I'm using the generator transfusion tracker with a 50% bonus incendiary damage uh, I like using that as well because slash enemies and the thing with shock you have uh, the shields and then yellow bars you could use for corrosive but it's up to you. I like using shock and fire. But um, yeah, you can use any grenade with any element, uh, any shield with any element. You just can't use the same element on the shield and grenade. But yeah, shock and fire. That's what I like using. Next, I'm um, using a spiritual driver. This is good because uh, my movement speed. I love using a spiritual driver. I love getting around quick. So that's why I like using. Uh, you could either use the dragon which is very good, uh, that's good for uh, melee Amara because uh, when you kill an enemy with a melee you uh, get your augment back, so that's really good also like using the golden rule, that's pretty good as well because of the action skill cooldown rate just so you can get the bonus 300% but you could use phase grasp if you want, that's really good for spiritual driver but again, use what you want but this is what I like using next I'm using unleash the dragon uh, I really like using this uh, artifact, especially for Melee Amara, because it has the Melee Ignite chance. Uh, the Slide Ignite chance, and it doesn't really matter about that, I don't really care about that. Uh, but the Ground Slam Ignite chance, that's pretty good, especially when you're above enemies and that. You can just slam down and, yeah, just get a bonus uh, Ignite chance. Well, not bonus Ignite chance, but a bonus fire damage. Um, yeah, as you can see here as well, 16% fire damage, 29% fire resistance. And yeah, that's basically it for uh, the guns and the shield, grenades, mods, and artifacts. Uh, now we're going to move on to the skill tree. We're going to start off with the blue tree. So you want to put one point into do harm, three points into fast pans, one point into violent, four points into restless. 3 points into Transcend and 1 point into Ascendant and that's it now move on to the Orange Tree put 5 points into Infusion and 4 points into Tempest next put 3 points into Personal Space 5 points into Clarity 5 points into Helping Hands and 3 points into Semestra and 3 points into Mindfulness one point into find your center, five points into jab cross, and one point into blitz. So for this, I like using face slam, soul sap, and soul fire. But if you're using um, phase grasp, use uh, obviously use uh, phase grasp, stillness of mind, and soul fire. But yeah, um, that's basically it for the skills. Now I'm going to show off the build in-game. 
Again, you want to have infusion. This is for um, your element. So if you want to need fire, you'll get uh, extra 40% uh, fire damage. If you want to need corrosive, you'll get a bonus 45% corrosive damage. Or if you want to need shock, you'll get a 40% shock damage. But I like to use in fire because that's just my favorite element to use on enemies. Uh, Tempest. Again, this is very good for elemental damage, shock damage. The shock damage uh, is really good for, obviously, the 50% shock damage here on either your shield or grenade. Uh, the elemental damage, again, is very good with uh, the infusion and very good with these two here. Uh, and then, personal space, I like to use them because, obviously, the more closer you are to your enemy, the more damage you're going to get. Cloudy. Healthy generation, help ha helping hands, uh, damage reduction, just so you don't take as much damage. Uh, Smasher, uh, obviously, healthy generation, gun damage. Uh, find your center, obviously, you need that for the melee damage. Mine for this, this is for the movement speed. Jab cross is obviously for the gun damage and act and steal damage. Very good. Blitz is really good, obviously, for melee damage. You definitely need that for a melee build, especially melee armor. Uh, one for do harm, just for uh, max uh, rush stacks and action skill damage. Doesn't really matter, but I mean, it's a little bit of damage. It's something. Uh, fast hands, I like these this just because of reload speed. And yeah, just other things as well. If you're swapping another weapon and that. Um, I like these in one, uh, I like these in violent uh, uh, with one point, just again because of the uh, effect chance. So that's pretty nice as well. So it's like. You're getting action skill damage and effect chance, so that's pretty good. Uh, Restless, I like using just so you can get your action skill back really quickly. That's very good. Transcend, I like using because you can get, you know, crits. Your accuracy uh, is increased when uh, you use your action skill. And Ascending, I like using because obviously you get a lot of stuff. Soul Sap Life Steal, Allure uh, Radius, Glamour uh, Duration, Revelation Damage, and Stillness of Mind. Those are all very good. So yeah, now guys, I'm gonna uh, show you guys the build in game. So I hope you guys uh, will enjoy it. I'll see you guys when we're at Athena's. Okay, guys. So we are currently at Athena's. Gonna be showing you guys the build off. Now, as you can see, my action skill uh, comes back quick. That is just Hold a glitch after me. be specking. So modifiers. We have uh, neutral modifiers, but guys, don't worry about the action skill. I'll uh, refresh the game soon and show you guys the actual build. But this is just the build with um, the glitch on. I don't know why this happens, but this is the build. As you can see, very good build, very strong. And then what I do with our dogs? Do my face slam, punch, and then just shoot. Now you see this log is dead. Oh, drop some legendaries. So yeah, very good build, very strong build. Uh, badass is not that strong. But on enemies and big guys, they're very strong. But uh, now I'm going to show you guys um, the phase grasp with it. And by the way, with phase grasp, I recommend getting a um, on action skill and gain 100% weapon damage for, um, yeah, for a short time. I recommend you guys get that one. That's obviously the best one. So now the space grass. 
mine. And obviously, again, this isn't this isn't doing much damage. Obviously, if it's a badass. But as soon as he goes down, we'll be just fine. Okay, now as you can see. I'm dead. Okay. So now we're gonna kill um Captain Sean. Uh show you guys off the build. And we'll see if it's any good. Okay guys, so we are here. Now I'm gonna use my face slam. And use my soul tap. Now let's go in. Okay, so for bossing, it's not that good. If you can hit him in the crit, it does some alright damage. But this isn't really a boss kind of build. Maybe it's uh, decent with a um, the mod, not mod, the artifact that gives you, uh, uh, when you melee an enemy, you have a 30% chance to have the sticky bomb. I, should, I thought they actually put that on, so uh, unfortunately I can't show it to you guys. But bossing, as you can see here, it's done all right damage but on uh, normal enemies as you can see use my face slam uh, it does some good damage there you go but yeah uh, Captain Tron as you can see he's not taking as much damage so as soon as he's um as soon as his shield is down um, we'll be getting some damage off him as I get behind him hit him in the crit I'm fine off that now. Again, this isn't really a boss build. I'm doing like no damage, but enemies doing a lot of damage too. This isn't my most overpowered build. But as you can see, him in, hit him in the crit. Um, he does some alright damage. Finally dead. Again, not good damage, I know. But if I had a um, thingy, uh, oh my, uh, oh my god, I can't even say, I forgot. Um, oh, yeah, my artifact, yeah, my artifact with 3% um, chance to attach sticky bombs when you melee an enemy. I'm gonna be a lot better, but as you can see there, wasn't as much damage. So now, open these up, see what we get. And we got nothing, okay. So now guys, I'm just gonna show you, uh, show you guys of me killing, um, um, what are his name? Oh, Private Beans, yeah, Private Beans. I'm just gonna kill Private Beans real quick, show you what I can do on him. And I'll see you guys at uh, Private Beans. Guys, so we're about to be at Pilot Bane. We're going to use a uh, face slam on him. And as you guys saw there, pretty good for mobbing, but for boxing, it's not that good. So we'll call Pilot Bane real quick. Show you guys what you can do on him. See, it's not bad. But definitely like not the best damage on him. But yeah guys, that is basically gonna be it for the video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Um, I'll be going live in 30 minutes. So if you guys would like to check it out, that'd be very appreciated. I like to uh, farm and I also like to um, make come up uh, with fields and that. So if you guys are interested in that, be sure to check it out. I'm also gonna be making a really overpowered build in a couple of days and yes this build is pretty good for bossing and mobbing so make sure you guys stay tuned for that also as well i like streaming a lot of uh, fortnite 
So I like to have my uh, subs and all that stuff. So if you guys are interested in that as well, be sure to come check out the stream. Be very appreciated. But yeah, guys, that's basically going to be it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like, sub, and turn on, turn on the notification if you haven't already. And yeah, that's going to be it. And I'm out, guys. Peace.